Are you serious? Are you serious? Asteroid, 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 the biggest, baddest, huge asteroid in history to ever go by the earth is going to go by tonight while you're softly sleeping in your bed. What? Yes, asteroid Florence 3122. Matter of fact, this asteroid Florence, named after Florence Nightingale, will be heading toward the earth during the early hours tonight while you're sleeping on September the 1st. Well, could this be a September to remember? Oh, well, we're going to have, we've already had the solar eclipse, calm down, but Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane Irma, gas shortages, earthquakes, asteroids. Matter of fact, you know, the sun right now on the sun, the wind, the solar winds are literally blazing, not just in heat, but in speed. 601 kilometers per second, nearly double what's normal, racing through the sun and roaring right out an open hole pointed right toward the earth. We don't need that right now. Extreme weather conditions. What about India? What about Nepal? What about Bangladesh? 1,300 people dead. What about Houston? We've got a problem. And then Lake Charles is filling up and it's not good. But asteroid Florence will be headed toward the earth during the early hours, folks, to bring in September the 1st. Millions of people can watch this, actually, on a live stream. And uh, matter of fact, you can go to the UK Express. They'll, they'll show you how to do it. Matter of fact, the giant space rock will pass us at 4,390,892 miles. 4 million or let's say 4.4 million miles. So don't worry, it's not gonna hit us. But thank God, because this thing is 2.7 miles wide. This is a mountain. This is bigger than a mountain. This is bigger than a mountain. You know, the Bible said in Revelation that John saw a mountain burning, headed to the earth in, 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 in a deep, deep, deep impact. But it's not gonna be this one, okay? It's not gonna be this one. Calm down, it's not gonna be this one. I realize we got a lot of signs in the heavens. You got the solar eclipse, you have this asteroid, you have Revelation 12, the constellations are in perfect alignment on September 23rd, okay? Right out of the book of Revelation. What's that mean? Well. You might want to get my uh, Rapture Ready DVD to find out exactly how the Revelation 12 plays into these end times. And then we've got, an, we've got another asteroid, October the 12th. But this one is small, but it's coming very close. I mean, we're talking close shave. Close shave. So I'm just saying, everybody relax. We're not going to get hit by this thing tonight. We're going to be okay. But, uh, man, and here's, a, here's some more good news. We first, the, the, this asteroid hasn't been this close to the Earth since 1890, and it won't be this close again until the year 2500. So this is it. Goodbye. All right. Don't worry. But it's big. But don't worry. But it is big. But don't worry. Are you saved? See, the Lord hasn't given us the spirit of fear, but of love and power and a sound mind. But when you see these things begin to come to pass, can't tell you what the Bible says? For there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with perplexity. Kim Jong-un and the sea and the waves roaring. Can you say Hurricane Harvey? Can you say Hurricane Irma? Men's hearts have failed them for fear for looking after those things that are coming upon the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Is planet X got anything to do with all these asteroids? Then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, he says, look up, lift up your head, for your redemption is drawing nigh. There's two brand new DVDs I've done that helps explain these apocalyptic signs. The first one's called The Total Solar eclipse of the sun, okay? 
and the other one is called Rapture Ready. Both of them available right now at my website. Go there and they'll help you understand the total solar eclipse. Why was that? That was on the first day of the 40 days of repentance called the, the, day, uh, the, the 40 days of repentance, the Alu. First day, just like Jonah went into Nineveh, the first day was a solar eclipse on the first day of Alu. And how does that 33 days translate into September 23rd and the Revelation 12? And how does that translate seven days later to the Yom Kippur or Day of Atonement? And how does this tie in to Leviticus 12 and Revelation 12? Get the DVD so you can understand it. And so I, want, I do my very best to try to break things down as simply as possible. And so that any of us and all of us, especially me, can understand it. And so you got to keep it simple for me. All right. All right. God bless. I'll see you guys tonight. Broadcast starts at 10 p.m. Eastern. All right. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Eastern tonight at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Also on new live stream, Roku satellite, Periscope, and this YouTube channel.